More like RG3 and 10. <laughs> RG third string. RG. <sighs> Hate those jokes. Let's get you caught up on the Redskins. They're three and 10 this season, largely due to a terrible defense, a historically terrible special teams unit, and to a much lesser extent, Robert Griffin III's regression following offseason knee surgery. And that's where the drama comes in. Owner Dan Snyder loves RG3. Coach Mike Shanahan hates Dan Snyder. So Shanahan's benching RG3 for the rest of the season. But get this, tanking for a high draft pick doesn't work because that pick belongs to the Rams as part of a trade to get RG3, the quarterback who is supposed to save the Redskins from these high draft picks. <gasps> None of it makes any sense unless Mike Shanahan's trying to get fired, in which case he'd pocket $7 million next year for not being part of this show. Is it a weasel move? Yeah, probably, but frankly, I admire a weasel who hates Dan Snyder. Placing blame for the Redskins' disaster of a season. Number one, Dan Snyder. Now at 14 years of meddling, greed, obstinance, and uh, complete dysfunction. In a sport filled with head billionaire owners, Dan Snyder has a strong case as the absolute worst. Nice work, Dan. Two, Mike Shanahan, not for his coaching so much as his personnel moves. The Redskins are lacking in talent everywhere except the quarterback position. Their defense is 30th in the league in DVOA, and their special teams unit is one of the worst in NFL history. Ugh. Three, the toxic combination of Redskins fans and DC media. You people stuck in traffic on the Beltway, stop listening to sports talk radio. Kirk Cousins is not the answer. You make Jets fans look smart and reasonable. And four, Dan Snyder again. He's only 48 years old. He could live for like another four decades. Redskins fans, maybe just find a hobby. Stamp collecting seems fun. In summary, here's the Redskins season in one play.